all of our games this year big, none bigger than this week's game. So before we get started, let's get one thing straight. It doesn't count until your elbows are straight. Get up under him and stand him up. Straight. 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 Hey, Ryan. We're glad you're here today. We're going to make your teeth perfectly. Let me guess. Straight? Straight. Straight, of course. Straight. 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 Thursday night football marches into the Big Easy for an NFC South showdown. What a catch! Falcons. That's as good as it gets. Saints. Touchdown! Thursday night football. Thursday, October 15th, 7 p.m. Central, live on NFL Network. Watch NFL Network, GVTC, digital cable channel 579. GVTC, just plain smart. This is not wire. This is fiber. It's at the heart of the GVTC Giga region. Ready? Okay. Call today and ask for a gig, which is up to 1,000 megabits per second internet speed through the GVTC Giga region. Unlimited long distance phone service, 24 7 home security monitoring, and free whole home DVR with our HDTV service. GVTC, just plain smart. It's back! It's back! It's back! It's back! It's back! It's... Oh, thank you! It's back! It's back! It's back! It's back! It's back! Ranger Radio's back. Listen live to all the Ranger football games on YouTube. Just like Inside Rangers Football on Facebook and get the link for this week's game. Go Rangers! Welcome to Inside Rangers Football. Brand Freeman here with you along with me, Smithson Valley Head Coach Larry Hill. A lot coming up in today's show. We're going to have the district picks with Ferris Orthodontics, Senior Moments, and our little men segment. One thing, we, we, one thing we don't have for you this week is plays of the week. The Rangers were off this past week on their bye. Last time out, Smithson Valley, a winner over Canyon, 33-14. The Rangers are 5-1, 1-1 one, one one in district going into this Friday's game against Clemens and uh, Coach. Let's look at the bye week for you. In terms of the timing of it, did it come at a good time? You know, it did. Um, you know, I don't know. If, you know. Sometimes if you've been winning, and we've certainly won five, as you mentioned, this year, you're a little reluctant to go into bye week because you feel like maybe that's breaking your momentum or whatever. But uh, sometimes midseason or just beyond midseason, it's good uh, just to get a little time away from football. We built some time in for our kids to have a little time away from football they don't normally get. Uh, get some guys back. Uh, that have injured, give them another week to maybe recover, and we were able to do that. So we rested, we recharged a little, but when we practiced, and we certainly did, uh, we had some pretty long physical sessions, uh, really tried to improve our game. I think it's a mistake late in the year, mid-year, or bye week to try to just hold status quo. I think that's a mistake. I think you've got to try to improve for the stretch run, and we had some good practices. We feel like we did that. As you evaluate your football team six games into a 10-game regular season, uh, what have you seen from your offense and defense so far? Well, you know, I think defensively we've, we've moved a lot of guys around uh, throughout the course of the year. Didn't necessarily settle on a pattern in two days and, and stay with it. We've made a lot of changes. We've moved guys. Some guys have moved two, three different times on position changes. But we've kind of got some kids settled now. We feel like we've made improvement the last week or two. Uh, so we feel good about that. Mm -hmm. uh, 
you know, offensively, we've had some playmakers in and out of the lineup due to the various things, injuries you mentioned, and uh, getting those guys back, getting settled, kind of figuring out what we do well, maybe some things we need to avoid that we thought we'd do well, maybe we don't. Mm -hmm. uh, kicking game uh, has improved greatly, and, and I think uh, we've got some impact plays we can make there. So really, unlike it's not unlike other years. You're just trying to figure out what does this team do well? What strengths do we need to play to? And uh, hopefully we're beginning to do that. Looking at the, the district so far, um, as you were off this past week, what have you, made, what have you been able to uh, gather from the play of this 25-6A uh, district so far? Yeah, it's, a, it's a highly competitive district. We've got a couple of teams ranked in the top 10, deservedly so. We've got several of us just outside of that, but uh, playing well. I think I mentioned on an earlier show, I think everybody's playing at a higher level than they did a year ago. And, uh, it's extremely balanced district. I think people can beat anybody on a given night. I think playoff spots are still wide open. Uh, if you're one of the ones that's fortunate enough to go in the playoffs, uh, I think you're going to be ready, having mm -hmm. gone through the gauntlet that is 25-6A. All right, well, coming up later in Inside Rangers football, we're going to preview the Rangers' upcoming game against Clemens, and we'll have more on the district with our weekly Ferris Orthodontics district picks. But right now, coming up at a break, up next, we have more Inside Rangers football. No problem, sir. Glad I could help. Have a wonderful day, and thank you for calling GVTC. Woo! That's right, Jason! Thank you for calling GVTC. This is Jeff. Call today and ask for a gig, which is up to 1,000 megabits per second internet speed through the GVTC Giga region. Unlimited long-distance phone service, 24-7 home security monitoring, and free whole home DVR with our HDTV service. GVTC, just plain smart. I had my mom make you some cookies, Coach. Well, that's nice. Thanks. Why'd I get these? Cookies are for coaches with over 200 wins. Get you a cookie, Coach. Help me out. I need a shameless plug. Not a problem. If you need video production work, there's not a finer organization than WIC Productions. It's who we've always trusted for our game night school board productions and Inside Ranger football coaches show. Get you another cookie, coach. In this town, we drive trucks. It's just what we do. In this town, we hold doors open for ladies. It's just what we do. In this town, we have fun. <laughs> it's just what we do. In this town, we play football. It's just what we do. In this town. In this town, we go to Ferris Orthodontics. It's just what we do. It's just what we do. Welcome back to Inside Rangers Football. Coming up next, it is Senior Moments with our very own Emily Turner. She's joined alongside the Ranger tight ends. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Brant. Boys? We know. It's to thank our moms. That's right. All right, guys. So, Mythbuster question. Are y'all brothers? We actually aren't. You know? I mean... Yeah, like kind of separated brothers, you know? Well, I mean, brother. yeah, we were adopted and we were, we were born. We're not technically brothers at all. <laughs> so. All right, Tanner. So, in the song Yankee Doodle Dandy, who exactly is getting named Macaroni? It's a pony, for sure. Sing it. I mean, Work it out. Oh, I don't. I can't sing it. But I just know it's a pony. You think so? <laughs> I know so, and it's a pony. The pony's name is Macaroni. Yeah. It's Macaroni, <laughs> the pony, yeah. Hayden, if a bunch of cats jump on top of each other, is it still considered a dog pile? Got to be, yeah, I think so. Still a dog pile. Mm -hmm. All right. Tanner, say your name backwards. Uh, Renat. <laughs> All right, Hayden. Mm. Ned, hey, Ned, yeah. <laughs> Tanner, give me your best Bugs Bunny. What's up, Doc? <laughs> All right, Hayden, I want you to spell for me. Let's see if school's paying off. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Go. S U P E R C A L I S T uh, I 
X P I A L I D O C I U O U S. All right, guys. So you're kind of used to this whole lights, camera, action. I've seen y'all up on the scoreboard. Yeah, Dr. Ferris, of course. It's just what we do. <laughs> it's just what we do. Back to you, Coach. Well, Coach, uh, the myth has been broken. Those two are not brothers, Aiden Gothard, Tanner Jennings. Um, but one of the fun things that they had a chance to discuss with Emily is the fact that they've been in on a couple of the uh, commercials that, that uh, we have for the scoreboard here at Ranger Stadium. And uh, something that the seniors have had an opportunity to, to do over the past several years. Well, you know, that's a, one of our traditions. Every program's got traditions, and we're fortunate enough to have a replay screen school board uh, with, with very well done commercials uh, that, that feature players mm -hmm. and uh, even coaches at times. And so, uh, you know, we use our seniors for that for the most part. And, uh, yeah, those guys do a good job with it. You have some good actors on this team. Well, you know, I don't know about that. They don't need to quit that. They need to go ahead and stick with their day job playing okay. football. But uh, those are two fine young men. You won't find two, two finer ones than those two you saw today. Well, from two, uh, from two fine young men to our Little Men segment, let's uh, kick things over to Coach Hill and this week's Little Men. So much of the game of football is situational. Third and long, first and ten. And one of the situations we want to talk about today is third and short. When we're on defense and it's third and one, or maybe even more crucial, fourth and one or fourth and two, what kind of defenses will we employ to stop them from making what could be a short game, but enough for a first down? What we have today, let's go to the little man and look. We have the offense in black here, aligned in a typical formation. And we have our defense in white here, Smithson Valley defense, aligned in its base formation. But you can see some voids in here and it wouldn't be very very difficult for the offense to hit one of those voids and make a yard or two, which is all that they need in this situation. Clearly, we have to have a plan for this. Coach Craig Westerfer is our defensive coordinator, and he's here tonight, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about third and short defense. What is one thing, multiple things, but what is one thing that we might do in that situation to keep them from making the short gain? Coach, tell us what we do. One thing we can do is we can try and close off all these gaps down inside. Right, we could make a call to have our defensive end slant down hard inside into the B gap. Our defensive tackle on this side would slant down hard into the A gap. You can see we've helped ourselves here if they were to try and run a quarterback sneak or something. The strong side defensive end would also slant down inside to, uh, to close off his inside gap. Now what we want to do is push them to run the ball outside. So we'd bring our linebacker off the edge on this side and he would blitz tight to the edge on that side, and our weak side linebacker could blitz off the tight to the edge here. Our middle linebacker now would have one gap to be responsible, and that would be the B gap. This free safety back here would not have a receiver to cover, so he would come down and effectively become a second linebacker for us. Therefore, we have shut off most of the inside gaps. We have one for our middle linebacker that might, he might have to cover, bringing linebackers off the edge, so what we're trying to do is bounce it out to those outside linebackers that we feel they're going to have a hard time blocking. Third and short, fourth and short. You've got to be able to make a play. This is one of the ways that we try to make a play on defense in those situations. Thank you, Coach Worcester. Let's go to some game tape and see if we can find some of this in action. Here's a short yardage play from one of our games earlier this year. This is against Midland. You can see our front four here. We're going to pinch all four of those guys inside. They're in their normal spacing now. On the snap, they're going to cram everything inside try to take away that running lane. Then as the play unfolds, we'll bring out linebackers off the edge. The play should come out to them where they can make the tackle. There's the ball. Now you can see they can't run up inside, so they run to the outside, and both of our outside linebackers converge for the tackle. You see it from the rear, you get a better look. Once again, on the snap, the four guys start or, or pinch off the inside running lanes. Here come the outside guys off the edge. They converge on the tackle, and we're able to stop them on what was a third and short. Here's another example. Again, front four, pinching to the inside. Ball snapped, can't run where he wants to run. As he begins to move to the outside, one of our guys from the inside converges. Meanwhile, we have some guys waiting on him outside, and they stop him for a short gain, or really a no gain, on a third and short. From the rear, there are the angles once again, forcing to run out where we have people waiting. 
And together, those three young men, uh, you know, converge on the tackle. One more look at it. It's from a game a year ago. We actually combine a linebacker stunt with it. On the snap, everyone goes inside, and then we plug a linebacker inside to take one gap away from in there. Hit him in the backfield. The ball actually comes loose here, and we're able to create a turnover. So not only do we snop him with what was a fourth down play, but we get the ball back for our offense as well. Here it is from the rear. Those are the angles they'll run, and number 26, the linebacker is also taking up a gap. The play unfolds, ball's loose, we get the ball, so once again, uh, we stop them and get the ball back for our offense. Well, coach, thanks for showing that to us. That looked good on the little man and also looked good on the big man on the big screen. And um, now, let's go to Ranger Trivia. This week in Rangers Trivia, Smithson Valley's first ever playoff game came against this week's opponent, the Clements Buffaloes, but in what year? A, 1988, B, 1994, or C, 1990? The answer is B, 1994. The Rangers and Buffaloes have actually met in the playoffs four times. Coach, 1994, that was actually your second season, the very first playoff game in Smithson Valley uh, football history. Take us back to that, uh, to that moment 21 years ago. Well, it was a pretty magical time at Smithson Valley. You mentioned their struggles before that, and uh, you know we kind of came off of a 1-9 season the year before and uh, just kind of rode the wave there. And the next thing you know, we're in the playoffs for the first time. Beat a bunch of heavily favored teams, and we were heavily uh, favored to lose that playoff game against Clemens. If I remember right, we lost by about seven points. But uh, uh, that's been a little. That's been a while. I was a little younger man at that time. All right. Well, the Rangers take on the Buffaloes again coming up this Friday. We're going to preview that game coming up next here on Inside Rangers Football. Rest, ice, compression, elevation every day. Reagan, are you there? Hello? Are you in there? Uh, Penucky, I'm sorry. I am so hungry. I need some Chicken Express. Yeah, Chicken Express does sound good. With our famous chicken tenders and the best sweet tea in Texas, if someone isn't paying attention to you, they're thinking about Chicken Express. Hi, welcome to GVTC. Hit it, Natalie. today and ask for a gig, which is up to 1,000 megabits per second internet speed through the GBTC Giga region. Unlimited long distance phone service, 24-7 home security monitoring, and free whole home DVR with our HDTV service. GBTC, just plain smart. Let me ask you a question. Do you need a video for your business? <laughs> the bear poop in the woods? I guess that's a yes. Your video can be seen anywhere, at any time, and by anyone. So, what do you think of the video, Nana? It's off the hook, honey. Mind blown. Our do is very expensive to make videos. Not at all when you hire Wick Productions. Do you know how easy it is making a video with Wick Productions? As easy as taking candy from a baby. So there you have it. Success is at your fingertips. Call Wit Productions today. Flashes of greatness that make history. And this year, history will be made on FS1. Foxtoberfest is here. Watch Fox Sports 1, GVTC Digital Cable Channel 515. GVTC, just plain smart. 
We're back at Inside Rangers Football now, previewing Friday's upcoming opponent, the Clemens Buffaloes. They come into the game 5-2. and two. They are 1-2 and two in district and won their first 25-6 game of the year this past Friday, 20-17 to 17 over Canyon. Coach, um, you alluded earlier to the fact that everybody in the, in the district is well improved. Maybe no team more so than this Clemens Buffaloes team. I think you're right. Uh, they're as explosive offensively as anybody you'll ever see. Uh, they've had a game of 67 points, several games in and around 50 points, been able to score on anyone, very explosive. Uh, defensively, particularly the last three ball games have become very good. They've really uh, improved their play there. Uh, young team, explosive team, very good team, playoff contending team. You use the term explosive a lot, and I think when you use that, you're referring to the quarterback, Frank Harris, extremely uh, talented, dual threat quarterback, yes. very accurate in the passing game, a great runner. How difficult is he to prepare for? Uh, it's about as difficult as you can, can imagine. Uh, you know, like you, you mentioned dual threat. You know, it's not like you can crowd the box and say, well, let's stop him and the other explosive backs they have running the ball and dare them to pass. They mm -hmm. can and will pass well. They've hurt people throwing. Uh, nor can you go the other way. Let's take that element away and force them to run the ball. So very difficult. Uh, we'll have to have uh, all our P's and Q's ready to go this Friday night. Other side of the, of the ball, when you're on offense and the Buffaloes are out there defensively, what are you expecting to see from them? Well, they've, uh, they're have they a 4-3 team. Their defensive tackles are very big and active, very good football players. Uh, their secondary is very talented. Uh, their outside linebackers are runners and hitters. There's really no weak spot, you know, hey, we can exploit this or that. Uh, hey, we can run the ball, or no, we can really throw the ball on this group. We're going to have to be balanced. We're going to have to mix and match our looks and uh, get our opportunities when we can. We know there are a lot of advantages to getting a bye week going into your next game, but what are some of the challenges that a football team faces when coming off of its bye? Well, you hope to start well. You know, you haven't played in 14 days, and even though you've practiced and tried to stay sharp and you're rested a little bit, how do you play well early in the game? Can you adjust to the speed of the game again? You know, their speed of their quarterback, their other playmakers. Does it take you a while to round into form? Offensively, the same way. The rush is coming at you faster. Uh, the linebackers fit quicker, you know. So that's always a concern. Uh, but I think it's a concern for everybody. Everybody's got a bye week. Everybody goes through the same thing. It's just our turn. All right. Well, the Rangers and Buffalo is just one of three district games this week. For a look at the other two, here are this week's district picks with Ferris Orthodontics. Good to be here, guys. Thanks. I'm Tyler Ferris. And I'm Megan Hembry. And this is your Week 8 Ferris Orthodontics Picks of the Week. Line them up. All right, Week 8. My first pick of the week, Steel High versus New Braunfels. There's going to be some dehorning. It's Steel all the way. Okay, this week I have the Wagner Thunderbirds versus the Canyon Cougars. Well, I'm afraid these Cougars, they may be running home this week. I'm going to go with the Wagner Thunderbirds. They seem to have some flight underneath those wings. Week 8, Game of the Week, Smithson Valley Rangers, Clemens Buffaloes. What Need I say more? Ahead. Get your guns up. Let's go, Rangers. Back to y'all. Those again, the picks this week for the district picks from Ferris Orthodontics. Now to recap, Dr. Hembry is 8-3, Dr. Ferris is 7-4. Mm -hmm. Now Dr. Hembry does not have access to film, so her uh, way of picking these games comes down to the, to the team mascots, and lo and behold, she's got a one-game lead right now. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing for, for Dr. Ferris, former football player, a football guy, knows a lot about the game, and uh, his lady counterpart using favorite colors and mascots is beating him. So uh, hopefully he can bounce back from this. Uh, one other thing too, when, when they make their pick of the Rangers, good pick by the way this week, I, I, I like the pick of Smithson Valley over Clemens. They're holding up the helmet with the number one on it, but you don't have a player with the number one jersey on this year's roster. Why is that? Uh, nor will we. Um, our team is number one. That's the way our philosophy is. That's the way we've built this program. And, Nobody will be number one. The Rangers are number one. So uh, uh, you'll never see a double zero. You'll never see a one, as long as I'm the coach, at least. All right. Well, there you have it. Those are this week's picks. And that is this week's show of Inside Rangers Football. Again, the Rangers, the Buffaloes, this Friday at 730 in Shirts, Texas at Lenoff Stadium. For Coach Hill, I'm Brian Freeman. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you again next week.
I've got it this time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, kick, ball, change. Nice. Okay, from the beginning. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, kick, ball, change. Good job. Call today and ask for a gig, which is up to 1,000 megabits per second internet speed through the GBTC Giga region. Unlimited long distance phone service, 24 7 home security monitoring, and free whole home DVR with our HDTV service. GBTC, just plain smart. When you're ready for a break, hurry in to Chicken Express. Let us do all the cooking for you. We always offer high quality, affordable meals that the entire family will enjoy. Our chicken is never frozen and it's hand battered fresh so you can really taste the difference. You can expect fast and friendly service at Chicken Express whether you dine in, drive through, or drive up. Hurry in and hurry back to Chicken Express. Straight. Straight. Straight! I think you're gonna take this one. Ready? Straight! I got it, Dr. Ferris. This posse guys always hold the flag. Straight! I see you over there looking at me. With your arms folded up, not looking happy. Dragging your name through the mud, you should roll with a key. We may have hit the mother load. 2,000 bucks? 3,000? Profit! All new episodes of Storage Wars, Tuesdays at 9 on a and &E. Watch a and &E, GVTC Digital Cable Channel 558. GVTC, just plain smart. Dancing is easy if you break it down into steps. So is fighting breast cancer. Step one, shop. QVC presents Fanny Shoes on Sale. Step two, get beautiful shoes at half of the manufacturer's suggested retail price. Step three, 80% of your purchase price benefits breast cancer research and education. Let's fight breast cancer, one step at a time. It's back. It's back. It's back, it's back, it's back, it's, oh, thank you. It's back, it's back, it's back. It's back, it's back. It's back! It's back. It's back! It's back! It's back! It's back! It's back! What's back? Ranger Radio's back. Listen live to all the Ranger football games on YouTube. Just like Inside Rangers Football on Facebook and get the link for this week's game. Go Rangers! Flashes of greatness that make history. And this year, history will be made on FS1. Foxtoberfest is here. Watch Fox Sports 1, GVTC Digital Cable Channel 515. GVTC, just plain smart. Thursday Night Football marches into the Big Easy for an NFC South showdown. What a catch! Falcons. That's as good as it gets. Saints. Touchdown! Thursday Night Football, Thursday, October 15th, 7 p.m. Central, live on NFL Network. Watch NFL Network, GVTC Digital Cable Channel 579. GVTC, just plain smart. Psst. You're not dreaming. Your favorite Food Network shows are now live streaming. Can I watch them here? Yes, my dear. With a simple tap on the Watch Food Network app. Snap. Can I watch it at the gym? You can watch it at the gym. You can watch it with a gym. Hey. You can watch it anywhere. Can I watch my favorite show? You can watch your favorite show 
live streaming on the go. Whoa! Can we watch it while we're baking? On all your devices, whatever you're making. Download the Watch Food Network app today. Oh.